It's a busy night as always, and we start right now at 9 with brand new details about a gruesome discovery in a crawl space in Aurora. These two people are now facing criminal charges, accused of killing a man and hiding his body in concrete in a condo. Now we learned from court documents today the victim's family member got an anonymous Facebook message telling them where that body was hidden. Investigators, by the way, removing that body today. Lots of new ones, Evan Krugel, speaking with experts about what comes next in this investigation, Evan. Yeah, still a lot to happen here, Erica. That victim has been identified as Carl Beeman Jr. Police say his body was hidden right here under this mound of concrete in a crawl space that's less than two feet tall in certain places. It was recovered just a few hours ago, but the work is far from over. Inside this Aurora condo, investigators spent the day in hazmat suits and gas masks working to remove a body covered in concrete. And they can't go in there and do with heavy, heavy equipment because it's going to end up destroying the evidence. In these types of cases, you don't, you don't get a do over. You've got one chance to get this right. Just after six o'clock, investigators were able to remove the body, a process that took multiple days to complete. Because ultimately they want to preserve as much of that evidence as they possibly can. If it's on TV, uh, the forensic programs on TV would be out in 10 minutes. Uh, that's just not reality, unfortunately. Former Mesa County Coroner Rob Kurtzman worked on a similar case in 2008 after a man's body was hidden in two barrels filled with concrete. He says it took months to fully examine the body. In that particular instance, although we didn't uh, arrive at a specific cause of death per se, we were easily able to arrive at the determination that it was a homicide. James Albee says investigators will now carefully examine the remains as the Arapahoe County coroner looks to find out how Carl Beeman Jr. died and when. Hopefully past the bone structure will still be intact and you'll be able to see if there's any type of major trauma or anything like that. Again, that body was just recovered a couple of hours ago. It remains unclear what kind of shape it's actually in. Forensic experts say it likely could still be days or weeks of chipping away before a full examination can take place. In the studio, Evan Krugel, Fox 31.